Hey everyone, welcome back to the South Moon. Today, we're diving into a topic that's changing the landscape of modern warfare. The transition from combat helicopters to drones on the battlefield. From their history as the backbone of air support to their increasingly rare appearances today, let's explore how drones are redefining aerial combat and why helicopters might be facing a new era of obsolescence. Combat helicopters have long been the preferred choice for military forces. These machines could navigate tough terrain, penetrate enemy defenses, and execute covert strikes. But in recent conflicts, especially the ongoing war in Ukraine, combat helicopters are playing a much smaller role. Both Russia and Ukraine initially used helicopters for missile attacks, but as the war continued, they turned to alternatives. Reports show a drastic drop in helicopter operations on both sides, with limited new reports of helicopter losses. According to the latest reports, the numbers reveal a decline in helicopter use. Russian forces have reported destroying over 270 Ukrainian helicopters, while Ukrainian forces report a similar number of Russian losses. But here's the kicker. These numbers have barely changed over the last few months, suggesting that both sides are simply using helicopters less. And unlike the influx of donated tanks, artillery, and aircraft, Ukraine's allies have not been rushing to send combat helicopters. So why the shift? The answer lies in the power of attack drones. Unlike helicopters, drones can fly incredibly long distances. For example, the Ukrainian UJ-26 Beaver Kamikaze drone has a range of 1,000 kilometers, more than double the range of the Boeing Apache helicopter. Drones are also cheaper to produce, expendable, and don't put human crews at risk. Drones are becoming the preferred tool for covert operations too, thanks to their ability to hover quietly and deliver precise attacks without being detected. Let's talk about stealth. Drones, with their small radar signatures, are nearly invisible to enemy defenses. They can fly just above ground level, making them hard to detect and perfect for surprise attacks. This stealth is something that helicopters just can't match. And Ukraine's heavy reliance on drones tells us a lot. Russia claims to have destroyed over 25,000 Ukrainian drones in two years, and yet drones continue to make some of the most impactful attacks on Russian airfields and infrastructure. Now, it's not that helicopters are entirely out of the fight. Russian helicopters have been deployed to counter Ukrainian drones in places like Crimea. They've even been equipped with electronic warfare systems designed to jam incoming drones, but these systems have limited effectiveness. They can only take down a few drones at a time, while the rest slip through. Meanwhile, in the US, the military is also rethinking the role of combat helicopters. The Army recently canceled the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft FARA, program after a $2 billion investment. The reason? The high risk to helicopters in modern warfare, especially against the backdrop of Ukraine's battlefield realities, where drones and other unmanned systems play a huge role. The Army is instead opting for safer, upgraded helicopters and tech that lets Apache helicopters operate drones remotely, keeping pilots out of harm's way. Rather than using helicopters as direct attack vehicles, the U.S. Army is exploring new rules, like launching smaller drones directly from helicopters. These launched effects drones offer added range and versatility without risking the crewed helicopter itself. This shift reflects a broader trend where helicopters may serve more as platforms for drones rather than direct combat tools. Drones aren't just useful for attacks. They excel in reconnaissance too. They're capable of carrying sophisticated surveillance equipment like Synthetic Aperture Radar SAR, and Signals Intelligence SIGINT, systems, which help gather intel in all weather conditions. They can also deploy precise weaponry, like the Hellfire missile, which is harder to carry on a helicopter. Essentially, drones bring flexibility to the battlefield that helicopters simply can't match. Traditional combat helicopters are increasingly vulnerable, FPV drones, which are cheap and can carry explosives, are being deployed in large numbers by both Ukraine and Russia. These drones can navigate right into enemy positions, taking out vehicles, equipment, and even tanks. The ease and accuracy with which FPV drones hit their targets have made them indispensable, 
sparking an arms race on both sides. So, are combat helicopters becoming obsolete? The answer isn't cut and dry. While they still have some rules, especially in transport and supply, the rise of drones is undeniable. They offer range, precision, stealth, and safety at a fraction of the cost, making them the new heroes of modern warfare. As drones continue to prove their worth on the battlefield, we're witnessing a shift that could forever change military strategy and the future of combat helicopters. Let us know in the comments. Do you think drones will eventually replace helicopters entirely? Or do helicopters still have a place in modern warfare? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights on the future of military technology. Catch you in the next video.